Right, so now I am going to visit a castle. I was hoping to get a taxi, but I can't find one. I've been online, they're all saying they're busy. So I've got to walk and it takes about 50 minutes in this heat, but I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll die of thirst on the way. Passing a park, passing a mosque. And I've just got to keep walking down this road for ages. But this is what a typical shopping street looks like in Shkroda. Pharmacies, telecom shops, banks. Banks are everywhere. And the latest in ladies fashion. Off of the gentleman. So I reckon I'm about a third of the way coming to the part of town which is like a builder's merchant and shops that are not even open. But on I go. So I'm about halfway. Um, just wondering whether to go that way or this way. Because if I go this way, I think I might pass by the lake. And that's something that I want to see. Well, I just spoke to some woman and she said, well, she couldn't really understand me, but she seemed to think that that led to a different town. But actually I can see the castle up there. So I think I better carry on up that way. But this woman, go for it. This is more like it. Look at this. Nice mosque over there church over there and these are like one of the waters that feed into the lake maybe even part of the lake so it's a wooden bridge but look the fortress and over there probably indistinct the Albanian Alps question is, how do I get up there? There's no signs for it. I haven't got any Wi-Fi. Should have checked this back in this back in the town. I just spoke to one of the guys in the petrol station and he said there's a road going up there. It takes about 10 minutes. That's what I'll do. I'll tell you now. That man in the petrol station has either got no sense of time or is a liar because I've been walking for 10 minutes. I'm nowhere near. Oh, Jesus. 36 degrees heat. It's just an endless traips. Look at the sun. Relentless. Made it to the entrance, 400 lek, £2.80. And look at the view, Shkoda. But I'm going in. It's a good view of the Albanian countryside. And then the city of Shkoda. And then the lake. The largest lake in the Balkans, I think. Let's go in the entrance. Tell you what, these cobbles are slippery. So this castle has seen loads of sieges. And it's got a really good legend, which I'm going to tell you about in a second. So the legend is, there's three brothers trying to build the fortress, but it kept on falling down. So they found this wise old man who said, I know what the problem is, but you've got to promise me never to tell your wives. They agreed. And so the old man said, whichever of your wives brings you the food first in the morning, 
then you must bury her within the walls of the castle you're building. Do you promise not to tell your wives? He told them. They all said yes. Anyway, they all went back. <coughs> Two of the brothers told their wives, said don't bring any food tomorrow morning. The third one didn't tell his wife. She brought some food. So he, he told her the plan. Sorry, you've got to be you know, buried alive within the walls. And she agreed. What a horrible story. And now for the long walk back. <sighs> My advice, get a car to come up here or don't do it in the height of summer. Come when it's a bit cooler. It's almost back at the hotel and I finally found the three taxis of Skodra. Why couldn't I get them before? So this is what I could have got. But I've ended up walking there for an hour, walking back for like an hour. Jesus. Why I'm having problems at pronouncing the name of this town. Skoda. Or is it? Skodra. Which one is it? No idea. But I'm finally back at the hotel. So that is it for my sightseeing in this little town in northern Albania. Tomorrow I'm going to the capital, Tirana. But now I'm going to lie down and maybe call an ambulance. See you later.